well, this is not the best part of Coventry, but nevertheless, uh, I know some people like to see various places around, so we're in the middle of Coventry and we're, I'm actually walking towards Bella Italia, where I shall have a bite. Salt and Kebab House. Now, I often say about sandstone weathering. Now look at this. See how that's weathered? I suppose if you use local stone, that's what happens. You know, you can't import it from somewhere else. Lots of interesting little shoppies. But look how it's weathered. Up there. But uh, they're putting new bits in by the looks of it, here and there. I don't think that's used as a church now. Look at that lovely entry that there was at one stage. All jammed up and filled up. I've been to an exhibition in there. I've just seen a great big mural over there on that wall. I ought to have a snap of the mural, didn't I? I shall have a snap of the mural. We all like a snap of the mural, don't we? Oh, my word. Oh, look at that little mural. Don't know what it is. Hiya. Somebody just said hi yeah, but they're answering their phone. Well, there we are. That's the Philip Larkin over there. I suppose he's larking about. Oh, I'm getting there slowly. And one of our student friends lives in this big block here. Now that's all being done over there. It was a Chinese come Asian food place and uh, it, we used to go there quite regularly because it was a good price and it was a buffet and every time I went there it was jammed full. Never ever was it uh, only partly full. It was always full and I, sometimes you'd have to wait before there was a seat. Um, and they said they closed because of competition. Well, I don't think competition was a problem, to be honest, because it was always full. They didn't, they, they didn't need to compete. The place was always full. There was always somebody there. I'll guarantee you that will be turned into student flats. Why couldn't they be honest about it? No big issue. Students need to live somewhere too. Why couldn't they be honest and just say, ha <laughs> ha, we're gonna do what everybody else has done. We're gonna close our business because we can make more money ripping Asian students off. They could have been honest and said that, couldn't they? But what do I know? I'm not a property developer, thankfully. Yeah, look at it, look. If that's not student flats, I shall come back and apologise to you all. But uh, there we are. Nothing wrong with student flats. It's just that they weren't honest. The place was jam full and they pretended that they had a problem with competition. He had no competition, there was nothing like it in the town. Idiots. They must think people are stupid taking that rubbish in. There's the theatre. And I'm going to go across here in a moment. There we are, got across, got across the road without being run down by a bus. I always count that as a bit of a bonus. Now, they haven't shut this fountain off, which is uh, given all the, the others that they shut. I can't quite believe that they haven't shut this one. Oh, it's still going, look.
Yes, I shall have a bite to eat at Bella Italia. Wow, look at this. Lovely trees, aren't they? Look at those. That's an enormous picture, isn't it? And in the middle of this is another sculpture. Look at that. Looks like a Moore, a Moore sculpture. Henry Moore, but I don't know if it is. I don't know enough about art. I should learn a bit, I think. I can't... Uh, I can see some people in Bella. And uh, I think I need to say goodbye. So thank you for watching. This is the Rambling Rambler. Dave to his friends in the middle of country, United Kingdom. And uh, I'm off into here for a bit of a lunch. So bye for now.